All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and honors to all you fellow laborers that are kicking this word in sincerity and in faith. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, Barakatham, to all of you sincere listeners. All right, so I want to go into a lesson on how folly is set in great dignity, you know, according to the book of Ecclesiastes, the 10th chapter. And the folly is the folly of the so-called white man and everything that he promotes in his society. Okay, and the fact that he's exalted above our people. When I say our people, I'm talking about you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans and our descendants, which are dispersed throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, we're the Israelites. And it's being exposed more and more that the so-called white man is, is the devil, man, and he just hates us. And he's uh, dead set on eliminating us, even though we know, according to Jeremiah, the 31st chapter, you know, that can never be. You know, he's going hardcore, man. All right. And he's, he's, he's just he's just consumed with uh, eliminating Israel to, to push his folly. All right. So I got this video, you know, I got testimonial and a couple of precepts and the Lord's word was edifying. I don't give y'all problems like that, bro. I do not give you problems like that, short, bro. I'm, I'm, All you had to do was take the strings down, dude. I'll take them down next time, bro. Y'all ain't here no problem with me, bro. I swear to God, bro, you know second shift, bro. You know, I be, I try my hard. Keep your leg down. Keep your leg down. I, I try my hard, so you feel me? Because y'all y'all, y'all treat us right, you feel me? On everything. I give y'all double trace every right. day and everything. This ain't right right here, though. On my mama. You need medical? This ain't nah, bro. I'm straight. I don't want no medical. You want decon out your I, ass? I need to get out my ass, though. Sure. Hey, though. Give your God up, bro. I'll come back to talk to you. Hey, hey. All I need, bro, you know I don't give y'all problems like that, bro. I do not give you problems like that, Schwartz, bro. You know, I'm a... All you had to do was take the strings down, dude. I'll take them down next time, bro. Y'all ain't here no problem with me, bro. I swear to God, bro, you know second shift, bro. You know, I be, I try my hard. Keep your leg down. Keep your leg down. I try my hard, so you feel me? Because y'all y'all, y'all treat us right, you feel me? On everything. I give y'all double trace every right. day and everything. This ain't right right here, though. On my mama. You need medical? This ain't, nah, bro. I'm straight. I don't want no medical. You want decon out your I, ass? I need to get out my ass, though. Hey, though, give me your bro. I'll come back and talk to you. Hey, Esau's out of his mind, man. Esau's out of his mind. And uh, as you saw in the description, you know, um, the dude who put it up, the Savoy Show, you know, I watched that on Instagram. You know, he brings out a lot of a lot of info, you know, reveals a lot of truths about, you know, what's going on, man, in society. But what he said in the, in the description was, he was like a scared slave, man. And that's exactly how, how Jake was talking. And you see Esau, look, I give you double trades. And that's how Esau frames it, man. Like, 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 like you're his fucking kid. Like I try to do good for you. But look, you won't let me do good for you. You should you should have just listened. And this that's that's some evil shit, man. So this is Ecclesiastes 10 and 5. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun. As an error which proceedeth from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in low place. Yeah, because we're really the rich. We're supposed to be the ones ruling. All right, this morning I, uh, I went to a client. I was supposed to train him and, his, uh, him and his woman up in the cut. Right by all these vineyards. Dude sitting on 80 acres. 80 acres. He's set in great dignity. Okay, he got a business that he inherited from his parents. Big ass house, two houses up on the hill, overlooking everything. But you look at this dude and you talk to him, there's no way that he's supposed to have that. He don't even know how to he don't even know how to tend to that land. He don't even know how to enjoy it. Dude look like he about to drop dead. You gotta have me go over there to, to pretty much get his life in order. That's folly, man. And the rich sit in a low place. Like that Jake was getting his ass beat in the in the jail. Man, he's in, he's in a low place, and he had to entreat that devil. Even though the devil was doing him wrong, he had to still entreat him, man. No matter of fact, 
Um, where is that at? Yeah, let me get a let me get a precept in the book of uh this is the book of Sirach. Bear with me. Cause the scriptures talk about talk about that. Like the scriptures got everything covered. Yep. Uh, Surah 13 and 3, the rich man have done wrong, and yet he threatened it with all. The poor is wrong, and he must entreat also. Yeah, and that's what was happening in that video. Okay, he's threatening the dude. He's handcuffed. You punched him, man. That's some, that's some coward shit right there, man. All right, the poor is wrong, and he must entreat also. Yeah, he was wrong, but then he had to entreat him. Why? Because there's no power in his hands. And this body cam, but this body cam stuff and social media is really exposing the way the society really is, man. And the way that you so-called white people feel. All right. The only the only way the so-called white man gets off is by oppressing us. Anything outside of that, man, he can't be happy. All right. He's just like he's just like uh, Haman. All right. All these all these Edomites got the spirit of Haman on them. All right. Folly is set in great dignity. And the rich sit in low place. Yeah, because the so-called white man, he gets in power. And what does he promote? Foolishness, wickedness. All right. Gene editing, gene splicing, homosexuality, transgenderism. I had to talk to this, this damn bug out. I right, Briefly, I couldn't do it for too much. You know, what are my hustles? I do life coaching. And this, this, this abomination, so-called white woman, was talking about she just, she just broke up with her. With her girlfriend who went back with her boyfriend and she having a problem with her parents because she's uh she's trans male. Totally bugged out, man. You you eat them ice, you just need death, man. All right, there ain't there ain't there ain't nothing you can do but put these people to death, man. All right, because they just exalt folly and they and they set it in great dignity. Meanwhile, the the rich, all right, the Israelites, starting with the, the men of the Lord, sit in a low place. All right, we're supposed to be ruling this. Okay, verse 7. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Yeah, and that's the time that we're in, even though we're at the end of it. You got servants that are actually in positions of power. And they don't know what to do with this power. That's why they always got to have Jake, Jake in, in their life, man. And then we do all the work and they get the credit. Okay, you go on any construction site, who are you going to see? You're going to see a gang of Ishakarites. Okay, you go into uh, these corporate buildings. All right, the main guy, m most of the time, running it behind the scenes is a Jake. All right, giving the counsel. Anything health-related is Jake. Yet, yeah, we're in a service capacity, man, but that's not for too long. Okay, and the, and the so-called white man, he wants to he wants to strengthen. He wants to strengthen his hold, man. He wants to continue to stay in power so that he can he can uplift folly. As you see right here, Trump is building a new liberal world order, says Pompeo, which that's the secretary of state. Donald Trump is building a new liberal order under U.S. leadership based on the principle of putting national sovereignty before multilateralism for its own sake. His secretary of state has claimed in a speech in Brussels before a NATO ministers meeting, Mike Pompeo sought to frame Trump's foreign policy decisions as a coherent doctrine to a European audience that is increasingly anxious about U.S. withdrawal from a string of treaties and Trump's anti antipathy towards the European Union. I'm going to jump down. Pompeo said at a speech at the German Marshall Fund think tank, we're supporting institutions that we believe can be improved. Institutions that work in American interests and yours in service of our shared values. This America, I'm just jumping around, this American leadership allows allowed us to enjoy the greatest human flourishing in modern history, the Secretary of State said. We won the Cold War. We won the peace. With no smart measure of George H.W. Bush's effort, we reunited Germany. This is the type of leadership that President Trump is boldly reasserting. After the Cold War ended, we allowed this liberal order to begin to corrode. 
Multilateralism has too often become viewed as an end unto itself. The more treaties we sign, the safer we supposedly are. The more, the more bureaucrats we have, the better the job gets done. And pretty much. Well, you know, that's it. Because you know, pretty much what, what Pompeo was saying is you just need to let America take over. That's what he's telling him. Like, look, man, let's not deal with UN. Let's not deal with NATO. Hey, just let us come in and do everything. And what's going to happen? Just more folly, man. Showing you that the, and then Trump is in that Antiochus spirit heavy. This is first Maccabee 1 of 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people and everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yeah, and 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 Trump is trying to push that same vibration. And that vibration is, will bring nothing but more folly onto this earth. Which is why the Lord is going to destroy this man. He's just all out with it. Like, hey, look, man, let's 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 do away with all of this and let's just have an autocratic way of living. Which you see what happens when a so-called white man is in power, it's just full out oppression of Israel. And and these other nations, but mainly, mainly our nation. Okay, he wants you to worship him. This is the book of Exodus 34 and 14. For thou shalt worship no other power, for the Lord Yahweh, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous power. Yeah, and Esau is dead set on you worshiping him. All right? He wants you to, to bow to him, to, to beg him for mercy. All right, to, to petition, to petition him, all right, for some better way of life. Okay, but guess what, man? Esau, he, he's going down, man. All right, this ain't going to last for too much longer. All right, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 7. Then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he saith unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Yeah, so the only new world order is going to be the world of Israel, which is an everlasting world. All right, pertaining to the book of Isaiah 45 and 17. Okay? And it's no coincidence that he, he re-invoked that new world order spirit. The same week that George H.W. Bush got put to death because he made his famous speech on September 11, 1992, about the New World Order, which is why he touched on George H.W. Bush. So these devils, man, they they they're in tune, man. They're in tune with the spiritual demon Satan, you know, and, and they want to, you know, keep this this folly empire going. But guess what, man? The Lord is going to cast them down. All right, so I just want to touch on that. Hopefully it was edifying. Call Halal Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, the Wadi Al Bashim Yahweh Shai for sending the Holy Spirit upon me to do this lesson. And Shalom to the elect.